All right. Hi, guys, and welcome. Thanks for joining me for practice. My name is Meg, and this is our mixed level vinyasa flow practice. I'm going to make sure we're all muted. So some of us played in our previous practice with handstands. I'm going to continue with that playful model today. So have some space in your home environment, be it a wall, be it a column, maybe a doorway that you can use for support. Often in our yoga practice, uh, we, we focus a lot on our standing postures, the ability to be grounded, um, to be steady, and to build the strength of being on our feet, which gives us a sense of calm and steadiness of the mind. Handstand or inversions going upside down is another way to shift our perspective, to allow us to get out of our head. Today, we'll explore the ability to find our inner strength and to tap into that strength and know that you are stronger than you think you are. We'll confront fear. We might get a little uncomfortable. We're going to work into what we call in yoga our third chakra, the Manipura chakra. This is our center of transformation, a personal strength. And in a time that we are all experiencing, that we've never experienced before, this is the time that we need to tap in and find our strength. So we'll ignite some fire, some heat in our navel center. And then from there, we'll play with using our hands now as a new way of finding balance. So I welcome you to this practice. Let's begin seated. You can sit up on a block or a bolster and turn your palms to the face up on top of your thighs. Let the shoulders drop down the back, and when you're ready, close your eyes. As you close your eyes, that signifies the start of our practice. So from outward awareness, what's going on in your outward environment, your house, your apartment. Take in the sound. And now, Create boundaries for yourself. Hold space for yourself for this time on your mat. Begin to look within. As you show up on the mat for practice. Tune in to how you're feeling. Physically, emotionally, and mentally. If lately you've been feeling drained, and you're questioning yourself, why am I low energy? I haven't been doing anything. <laughs> Some of the reasons that our energy is low is emotionally we're drained. Fear, uncertainty can take our energy. In yoga, we refer to energy as prana. This is our life force. Many things take our prana, but we can use the practice of yoga to restore, to refuel, and to ignite. The first thing that can help us refuel is our breath. So bring awareness to your breath. Breathing in through the nose and out. Begin to cultivate your yogic breath, breath with sound, ujjayi, which will cultivate heat. Smooth out and deepen your breath. As you begin to connect to breath, and before we begin our active practice, Take a moment to connect to the third chakra, 
This is your navel center. So it's about three finger widths above your belly button, your solar plexus. In this area, just tune in to what you're feeling. Again, your center of personal strength, of transformation, of self-worth. As you breathe into the solar plexus, imagine a flame burning. And as you breathe in, allow this flame to grow with intensity. And any feelings this morning of self-doubt, insecurity, lack of self-worth, throw them to this flame, this fire. Take what is occupying physically, mentally, and emotionally that won't serve you and take it to this fire. Know that you are much stronger physically, mentally, and emotionally than you think you are. And together, we're in this, and we are stronger together. Bring now your hands to prayer position at your heart. Let the knuckles of your thumbs touch your sternum and bow your head. Cultivate your intention for this morning's practice. I offer us a group intention. May we all tap into the fire. May we all find playfulness. May we discover our inner strength and power. Take from this practice what you need. Let's open with one round of chanting Om. Please take a deep inhale. In. Oh. And then as you release your hands to your lap, slowly open the eyes. We're beginning our practice on our back. So you can move your props and lie down. As you lie down, stretch your arms overhead, stretch your legs long, big inhale. Good, and then on the next exhale, slide your arms down to cactus position. So your elbows are lower, slightly lower than your shoulders, palms face the ceiling, and bend your knees. This will support your back. So we're starting with some shoulder prep. It's called scapula glide. On an inhale, keep the back of your forearms and hands on the ground and slide and open the arms to what I call a capital Y. On an exhale, bring your arms back down to cactus. So start to feel how your shoulder blades move up as the arms rise overhead. And then on an exhale, bring the arms back down. Continue, inhale up, exhaling down. Take three more times. You can move slow. Notice how one shoulder might move a little different than the other. One more round. Good. Now, reach your hands up to the ceiling. On an inhale, shrug the shoulders off the earth. Reach your fingertips up like you're trying to touch the ceiling. And then on an exhale, shrug the shoulders back down. Reach up, inhale. Exhale, shrug down. One more time. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, shrug down. Join your palms together. Interlace the fingers. Turn and rotate to release the wrists and forearms. 
Spread your hands wide, pushing the palms to ceiling. Pinky and thumb spread away from each other. Breathe here. Keeping the arms straight ahead, if you have any shoulder injuries, otherwise go ahead and reach the arms behind you, pushing your palms to the back of the room. Stretch your right leg long, stretch your left leg long. Fine, soup to Tadasana, so try not to arch your back. Scoop the tailbone towards your heels, tone the legs, flex your feet, breathe. One more round of breath. And exhale, hug the right knee into your chest. Wrap your hands around the top of the shin, bring that knee in. Let's roll the ankle, make circles in one direction. Roll it in the other direction. Now flexing the right foot as you hug right thigh in, lift head and shoulders, float left leg off the mat. Hollow hold, reach your hands forward. Peel up and down off your shoulder blade. Feel the sense of crunching as you squeeze the right leg in. Flex your feet. Good, hold for five. Four, tap into the navel center. Create some heat. Three, two, one. Slowly come down. Bring your left knee in and stretch your right leg long. Give that left thigh a nice hug. You can roll the ankle in one direction. Roll the ankle in the other direction. Flex both feet. Exhale, lift. Nose to knee. Float the right leg up. Keep the low back into the mat. Feel the sense of hugging the left knee in a crunch. Extend up to the arm. Peel off your shoulder blades. Holding for five. Good. Four. Three. Two. One. Hug the knee in and roll down. Slowly bring your right knee in. Give yourself a little hug, a gentle rock from side to side. Lift the head and shoulders, flex the feet, peel the tailbone up, reach your arms forward, holding for five, four, three, two, on one, straighten your right leg into the air, slowly extend your left leg forward, brace, keep the low back on the mat for five, four, three, two, one, both knees in. Extend left leg out. Stretch your right leg forward. Peel up a little deeper. First pause. Four, three, two, one. Both knees in. Hands interlaced behind the back of the head. First stage, keep knees in. Second stage, extend the legs straight up and into the air. Take an inhale. Exhale, a little lift. Lift the head and shoulders. Peel the tailbone up. Inhale, back down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, down. Ten more for ten. And down. Nine. And down. Eight. And down. Seven. And down. Six. And down. Five more. Five. Let the head relax in your hands. Exhale as you lift. Four. Good. Exhale, lift. Three. Exhale, lift. Two. Exhale, lift. One. Hold. Reach your hands to the front of your mat. Peel off your shoulder blades. Tone your legs. Flex the feet. Thumbs up. False now. First 10. Nine. Eight. You're feeling it, I hope. Seven. Come on. Six. You can hate me a little bit. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Hold. Reach your hands straight up to the ceiling. Little pulses. First 10. 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, on one, slowly bring your arms overhead, reach the legs at a 45 degree angle, press the low back into the mat, lift the legs, lift, reach the arms up, inhale, back down, exhale, lift, rest when you need to, inhale, back down, control, exhale, lift, I hope you're sweating, come on, inhale, exhale, three more, three, Two, I'm feeling it. Good one, we want to feel it. Hold, pulse, first one. Nine, eight, come on. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold, go into that energy. Feel it in your navel center, the solar plexus. Lift a little higher, hold. And release. Nice work. Keep your right knee in. Stretch the left leg long. Left hand to right knee. Right arm up to the side. Take a big inhale. Exhale into your supine twist. Little release to the back. Look over the right arm. Inhale back to center. Draw the left knee in. Stretch your right leg long. Right hand to the left knee, left arm out to the side. Begin with an inhale. And exhale over into your twist. Turn your gaze, look over your left arm. Inhale back, both knees in. Let's do five rock and rolls. So rock up, catch it if you can in like a Navasana, and then roll back. Rock up, roll back. Rock up, hold, and back. Two more up, and back. And then this next one, rock forward, come through, and find your downward facing dog. Make adjustments as you need. Pedal it out, so bending one knee and the other knee. You should feel this underbelly, your core ignited and supporting you. Start to warm up our shoulders. So in your down dog, walk, keeping the palms flat. Begin to walk your hands back towards your feet. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Walk forward and find plank. Hands are spread wide. Lift your hips back into down dog. Walk your hands back. Find a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Walk it back. Find your plank. In plank position, if you need to, I want you to drop the knees to modify. But we're going to do shoulder taps here. The focus in shoulder tap is to not get too wiggly through your trunk. So stabilize. It's okay if you want to widen your stance. So touch your left hand to your right shoulder. Down. Right hand to left shoulder. Down. For 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. One, press it up, down dog. Good, in your down dog now. We're gonna do ankle taps. So from down dog, take your left hand, tap your right outer ankle. Come back, right hand to left ankle. And back, for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Now, hands are spread wide. Inhale, lift your tippy toes. 
Untip toe forward. Take your time. Draw in through the navel. Keep the arms straight. Lift the hip. Lift, lift, lift the hip. And fold. Bend the knees. Inhale, rise. Sweep up. Gaze. Up. Exhale. Hands to your heart. Surya Namaskar A. Before we begin, Sun Salutation A. Come back to your intention for this practice. Releasing hands. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Arda. Exhale, step to plank. Inhale here. Exhale, bend the elbows, lower forward and down, catch your go to belly. Inhale, transition upward dog. Exhale back, down dog. As you glance to the feet, they're parallel. Hips are high. And this is relaxed and breathe. On your next inhale, lift the toes. Exhale, bend knees. Step or hop. Arrive in halfway lift. Exhale, flat palm. Hold. Inhale, rise. Sweep up. Look to thumb. Exhale, arms to your side. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Arda. Exhale, step or jump, lower down, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog, straighten the arm. Exhale, back, downward dog. Five rounds of breath. One. Two. Soften your gaze at a spot. Three, four, exhale, five, bend the knees, inhale, float up, exhale, fold, inhale, rise, sweeping up, exhale, parasana, inhale, gaze to thumb, exhale, fold, Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, start to put a little bit more weight in your hands. Keep the shoulders over the wrist. Lift the heel. Feel aspects of a handstand. Then bend the knees and the hips back. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, back. Down dog. Five rounds of breath. Three. So feel the engagement of the navel. Draw it in and up. Hands are spread wide. Feet are active. Hips high. Ujjayi. At the bottom of this next exhale, inhale, bend the knees, float forward. Arriving in extension, focus flat palms as you fold. Inhale, rise, sweep all the way up. Exhale, arms down by your side. Surya Namaskar B, Sun Salutation B. Step your legs together. On an inhale, bend your knees, drop down into the hips, reach the arms to Utkatasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale, find extension. Flat palms, jump back, lower down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Step the feet to the midline. Inhale, right leg to side. Exhale, bring the knee in and step forward. Warrior one, ground your back left heel. With an inhale, rise. Hands can touch, look this up. 
exhale, hands down, step to plank, exhaling, chaturanga. Inhaling, upward dog, exhale, down dog. Feet together, inhale, left leg lift. Exhale, step it through, drop your right heel, warrior one. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands down, pull back and lower. Inhaling up, exhaling back. Breathe. Smooth inhale and exhale. You manage your prana, we use drifty. Settle your eyes at a spot. Clear focus. And spread wide. Inhale, lift your toes. Exhale, bend knees, look forward. Inhale, jump. Exhale, hold. Legs together, bend the knees, sink your hips. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, Tadasana. Inhale, bend your knees, drop your hips, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, find length. Exhale, step or float back, lower down, Tadasana. Inhaling, upward dog. Exhale, down dog. Feet together. Inhale, right leg to sky. Exhale, step it through. Ground your back heel. Inhale, rise, warrior one. Exhale, hands down, pull back. Lower with control, forward and down. Inhaling, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Feet together, inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, step it through. Ground your back heels. Inhale, rise. Warrior one. Exhale, hands down. Pull to plank and lower. Exhale. Inhale, rise. Upward dog. Exhale, back. Down dog. Breathe. Down dog is not a resting pose. Child poses. So if you need rest, take that. Otherwise, stay active, creating length of your spine, warming up to the shoulders, the upper back. Breathe. All right, one more round of Surya Namaskar B. Inhale, lift the toes. Exhale, bend knees, hands flat. Inhale, float forward. Exhale, fold, flat palms. Legs together, bend the knees, drop into hips. Utkatasana, chair pose, inhale. Exhale, straighten your legs, arms to your sides. Inhale, bend the knees, sink your hips. Utkatasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, find length, shift weight into your hands. Float back, lower down. Inhaling up, exhale back, feet to midline. Inhale, right leg to sky. Exhale, step it through, ground left heel. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhaling up, exhaling back, feet to midline. Inhale, left leg lift. Exhale, step it through, drop your back heel. Inhale, rise. Warrior one. Exhale, pull through, lower chaturanga. Inhaling, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Breathe in and out. Face is relaxed. Ujjayi, breath of the sound.
On your next inhale, lift the toes. Exhale, bend the knees, push into the palms. Slow it up, inhaling, rising halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Legs together, inhale, bend the knees, sink your hip, Utkatasana. Exhale, Tadasana. Step your feet to hip distance. Interlace your hands behind the back. Roll the shoulders back. Squeeze the elbows in towards the midline. This is a challenge. Grab a towel or a strap. Straighten the arms, lift to the chest. Drop your chin down towards your sternum. Keep your tailbone lengthening those ribs down. Breathe. Now give a soft bend to the knees. Hinge. Fold forward, fold. Arms invite overhead. Lift the shoulders away from the ears. Create some space by lifting that upper back. Turn and look under the right shoulder. Turn and look under the left shoulder. Bring your chin back to center. Release your hands. Grab a hold of your big toes with the first two fingers. Inhale, Padangustasana. Find extension in the upper back. Exhale, fold in, elbows flare, hips are high, navel draws in, head releases. Feel a sense of your heels spinning out. Inhale, halfway lift, Padahastasana, take your hands, spread them wide, slide them underneath to so bring your toes up to the wrist line. The focus in Padahastasana is keeping the wrist to the ground. So if you have to bend the knees, go ahead. Take an inhale, push down into the back of the hands and float up. Some um, schools might call this like a monkey pose as well. So feeling the long arms, you stretch in the forearm. Let your weight shift more into the balls of the feet. And then exhale, bend the elbow and fold in. Keep weight forward. Not too much. You might tip over. Draw that navel in and up. Breathe. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, release. Walk your feet together. Bend into the knees. Drop your hips. Reach the arms up. Utkatasana. Five rounds of breath. If this bothers your back. Arms can be forward. Arms can extend up. Or final variation. Wrap the triceps. Touch the palms. Look the thumb. For five. Four, three, two, one, fold. Inhale, find length. Plant the hands, exhale, jump back, lower down. Inhaling, upward dog. Exhale, down dog. Step your feet to the midline. With an inhale, float the right leg high. Keep your hips square. Exhale, bring your right knee in. Shift forward into plank. Try to kiss your knee like we did on our back hollow hold. Inhale, extend the right leg back and into the air. Exhale, knee comes in. Draw into the navel. High step up. Arms are straight. Inhale, send the leg high. Again, exhale, knee comes in, hover hold, and step through. Spin the left heel down. Go wider if needed for warrior one, heel to heel. Airplane your arm. Lunge deep into the right thigh. Inhale, come up. Your arms can be separate, shoulder injuries, cactus. Otherwise, touch palm to palm. Take your gaze up to your thumbs. Lunge deep for five, four, three, two, one. Tends to hips. Straighten your right leg. Parsvottanasana. Shorten up your stance. Square your hips and shoulders to the front of the mat. 
Inhale, open the arms. Reverse namaste, turn the thumbs down. Wrap your hands behind the back. Touch palm to palm. Modification, fist to fist or grab forearm. Shrug shoulders back, scoop the tailbone down. Inhale, lift, back bend, arch back. Exhale, come forward, a little bend in the right knee, halfway down. So at your halfway point, find how that right hip pulls back, left hip pulls forward. Navel's drawing in and up, head is in line with the tail. Push your back up and into your hands. Push into that right foot, rise back. Scoop the tailbone down, take an inhale, open the heart. Exhale, square the shoulders and the hips, halfway, hinge. One more time, root into that right foot, rise. Allow your back to fold over your fingertips. Come forward, hinge, pull right hip back. And this time, invite yourself, fall the way into the forward fold. Forehead to shin, shoulders pull back, modification hands to earth. Inhale, lift up halfway. Slowly release your hands. Hands can go to blocks or the earth. Inhale, find length. Pull your right foot back, about a foot or so and pivot onto the ball of your left foot, giving you a better place to sort of stand down and engage that right hip. Bring hands forward, think of a warrior three, so you're lifting that left leg, kicking out through the heel, find the crown of your head in line with your tail. So this is gonna be our first stage. You're learning how to build strength, move into that navel center. Now bend your left knee into the navel. Give a bend into your right knee. Hands to prayer, slowly come up. Hands to hips to help you measure. Slowly hip hinge and find your expression of warrior three. Arm variations, airplane the arms to your side. Scoop the hands forward or hands to block. Fold down, standing split. Hands can be on blocks here or they can be on the ground. If your hamstrings are tight, take blocks. Now from here, shift your weight into your hands and slowly lift onto the ball of the right foot. Draw that navel in and up. Not just play as though you were to lift into handstand, but more importantly, feel the shoulders engaged in the navel. Good, now release the right heel down. Take a step back, be on the ball of your left foot. Inhale, rise, press and pose. Exhale, arms come down. Take the right leg and give it a nice stretch into the air. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower, chaturanga. Inhaling, upward dog. Exhale, down dog. Step your feet to the midline. Inhale, left leg floats high. Exhale, bring your knee in, shift to plank. Shoulders are over the wrist, try to kiss your knee. Inhale, extend the leg up. Exhale, knee to the navel, coil in, think of hollow hold. Inhale, Bend it high. Exhale again. Knee into the navel. Shift forward. Inhale high. That action now. Knee in. Hover hold. Step through. Find lunge. Warrior one. Right heel anchors and go a little wider than heel to heel. Shoulders square to the front. Airplane your arms. Inhale rise. Warrior one. Gazing to thumbs, lunging deep into the front thigh. Wrap your triceps in for five. 
four, three, two, one. Straighten, bring hands to hips. Slide your right foot in, Harsvottanasana pyramid. You might need to widen your stance, but your hips, like headlights, face to the front of your mat. Feel the scissoring, left hip back, right hip forward. Inhale, float the arms up. Internally rotate, reverse, namaste. Touch fingertips, fist to fist, palm to palm, or grab forearm. Scoop the tailbone down, roll the shoulders back, Inhale, arch back, back bend. And then exhale as you come up, draw back into the navel, pull the left hip back, go down halfway. Head is in line with your tail, shoulders are lifting away from the earth. Root into the left foot. Rise, bend over the fingertips, lift, arch back. Exhale, hinge forward, halfway. One more, get legs as you lift up, root into the feet, lift up and out of your pelvis, tailbone anchor. And now invite yourself, exhaling into full expression of Parsvottanasana, pyramid pose. You can keep length, or you're feeling pretty deep or head to shin. Breathe, shoulders away from the front body. Connect to your navel center. Inhale, halfway lift. Release your hands to the earth. Inhale, lift the heart. Blocks can be used. Step your left foot back six to 12 inches. So now when you bring weight into your left leg, pivot so you're on the ball of your right foot. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders or on blocks. I'll demonstrate with blocks. So I want you to lift the right leg up. And in warrior three, go ahead. Bring one hand behind you. I want you to feel your pelvis level. Feel an engagement through the front body as you kick to that right heel. Head is in line with your tail. Now bend into your left knee. Begin to pull your right knee in. Shift the weight into the left leg and come up to standing. Try to hover. Ribs in. Here's another form of our hollow hold, but in standing. So let's work into warrior three. Give a bend to your left knee. Hinge your pelvis forward. Find your balance, extending, kicking out through your right heel. Airplane your arms or reach your arms forward. Find your focal point. Breathe. And then hands to block your ground. Fold into your standing foot. Come to straight arms. Lift up onto the ball of the left foot. Look forward in front of your finger line. Just step to feel handstand without taking it. And then a long step back. From your navel, inhale, rise. Press and pause. Exhale, circle your hands down. Breathe the left leg high and into the air. Inhale, plank. Exhale. Inhale, lower, chaturanga. Inhaling, upward dog. Exhale, back, downward dog. Come down onto your knees. All right, I'm gonna do this. I wanna do one more core work. Yep, you heard me right. Lay down on your back. Then we're gonna give our shoulders a little break. Turn back on the fire and then we'll take it to our wall. So lie down. These are old fashioned yogic sit-ups. You guys that have been practicing with me for a very long time know we about these. So ways to support yourself. One hand to each side of the low back. I want you to keep your low back and keep your pelvis 
on the ground. Otherwise, arms can be by the sides, or you really want a little more. I want you to feel this sense of hollow. Lift your head and shoulders off the ground. Reach your hands forward. Legs together, point the toes. Inhale, legs up for one, and down. Two, and down. You don't have to touch the ground. Three, and down. Four, down. If your neck gets sore, put it on the ground. Down. Good, five, you got it. Down. Six, down. Seven, igniting that fire, down. Eight, down. Nine, down. Ten, down. Ten more, ten, down. Nine, down. Eight, down. Seven, down. Six, down. Five, down. Four, down. Three, down. Two, down. Last ten. Come on, do it with me for ten. Down. Come on. Nine. Down. Let's go. Eight. Down. Seven. Down. Six. Down. Five. Down. Four. Down. Three. Down. Two. I promise. Last one. One. <laughs> down. Knees in. Head down if it was lifted. Woo. Three. You are stronger than you think you are. Turn the chin to the right and the left. Cross your ankles and rock up. Take your hands together. Interlace the fingers. Just a little wrist prep. Press the palms forward. All right, we're gonna be going to the wall in just a moment. If you don't want to bear weight on your hands, you can practice forearm stance. So grabbing a hold of your biceps, you wanna make sure that your elbows are shoulder width. Palms can be parallel, or another variation is interlacing the hands. In forearm stance, your head's not on the ground. Now, yesterday, and I'm gonna offer this variation sort of that teaches you that you are stronger than you think you are, the L hand stance. So this is, if hand can scare you, I think this is a good one because your feet are on the wall, you feel supportive, the mind isn't gonna do its little freak out thing. So just a quick review of what we did last night. Legs are extended out, your back is on the wall. You wanna measure the length of your legs and that's where you're gonna put your hand. So as you come around, your heel of your hand goes to where that wrist line is. Spread your hands wide, you wanna work external rotation so the inner elbow rotates forward and you're going to use your fingers to help you balance the idea in handstand is we stack our shoulder joint over the wrist joint and when i lift my hips my hips are going to line up over my shoulders as well so we're going to take a beginning like we're in a down dog so now my shoulders are off the wrist i'm going to walk my feet to the wall but only to hip height from there, I'm gonna lift my hips and push my feet into the wall, sending my hips towards the line of my shoulders and wrists. My head just hangs. You'll hold this for five, round, five to 10 rounds of breath. Be careful with your toes when you come down and then take child's pose, all right? We're progressing and the next thing we're progressing is that ability to do a little kick up like a hollow hold knee into the navel, one leg straight. We're gonna learn this in a way that is safe and supported with a wall behind you. So if you wanna watch, you can. Otherwise, take yourself to the wall. Excuse my back behind here. Fingertips about four to six inches from the wall. Find your down dog. Step your feet together. You're gonna to learn that there's one lead leg and we're gonna to learn to switch it but my right foot is going to step forward. I'm gonna push into my right foot and lift my legs up and into the air. But as I do, I'm gonna squeeze my right knee into my navel, point my left foot and work with hovering. Good, and then release down. Try the other leg, press into the left foot, kick up, bring your left knee in, feel that sense of hollow hold into the navel, push into that right foot. Hold, arms are straight. Good, and then release down. Take a child's pose, roll out the wrist. 
So you're gonna continue. Now, those of you that might be having some difficulty, what's preventing you from getting your hips or your legs up is your pelvis. So the center of your pelvis is your position of control and strength. In order for you to find that float, you must think about your pelvis, less legs, more of your pelvis going up and over your shoulders and hands. Once you're comfortable with a one leg knee in, I'm gonna invite you to try both legs in. And again, the key is your pelvis. So hands are spread wide from your down dog. Bend the knee. It's like you're jumping forward in your sun salutation. Find the wall with your knees bent. Pelvis is on the back wall. And then extend the legs into the air. Once you squeeze the legs, arms are straight. Point your toes. Building strength in handstand is more important than trying to balance. So this is your homework. If handstand is part of what you really, really desire, work on holding handstand for one minute. Several rounds of one minute holds will build that strength. Hold, be in your handstand wherever that is. 10 more rounds of breath. Squeeze the thighs to the midline, push the earth away, relax your face. You are stronger than you think you are. Stay with me, come on. With control, one leg leads you down. Control. And child, oh. relax the arms by your side. Roll out the wrist. And then from child's pose, come up, sit on your heels, turn your palms up, close your eyes. Observe what might have bubbled, steamed to the surface. Know that none of these asanas, these postures define you, define you as a yogi or human being. There's many ways to tap into our inner strength. Today, my choice was just to play with a form of handstand. So if you attempted it, just notice it can be exhilarating. It can be scary. Learning to trust your own strengths. But like anything, with practice, regular practice, your nervous system will get more comfortable with going upside down. Use a wall for as long as you need to, to build the strength, to build the security, to build the presence of supporting yourself with your own strength and on your hands. All right, open eyes. Swing the feet around and we'll do a release for our hips. So as you extend the legs out, give them a little shake. Just roll out the wrists, make some circles. I hope you had fun with that. Roll the wrists the other direction. Bending the right knee, put your right ankle on top of your left thigh. So we're moving into double pigeon. I'm bringing you right into it. So ways to adapt, have a block handy if you need it. So double pigeon, you're gonna bend the left knee, the leg that's underneath you, and we're working to stack your shins. So my feet are flat, flexed. The other name for double pigeon is Agni Stamba, fire log. So your shins are stacked. Draw the seat muscles out. If you find that your right knee is highly elevated, don't worry, no problem. Take your block or a pillow, put it in front of your left knee. Then put your right foot on top of it. That should help release it, and you're still gonna get a good stretch in the right hip and glute. So now keeping the pelvis anchored, hinge forward. As you hinge forward, that's where you're bringing tension into the pose, feeling the stretch, keep finding some extension. Your hands can walk forward. And then at a certain point, turn the palms up and then let the head hang, breathe.
you can stay here or another expression is to turn the torso so that your heart moves over your right foot so you're turning a twist to the left you can bring your right hand to that outer right thigh and sort of push it away from you as you fold in feel that nice stretch Five more rounds of breath. Start to wait, make your way back to center. And roll up. Stretch out the legs. Switching sides, bend your left knee. Put your left ankle right above your right knee. Bending the right knee, fire log, Agni Stamba, double pigeon, deck your shin. Your left hip just feeling a little more congested. Give it space by putting the block in front of your right knee. You can stay upright or begin to hinge forward. Find some length at first. Think about taking the bottom ribs forward over the front shin, turn the palms up, and then be heavy in the head, the shoulders folding. Stay here, or lift the chest, walk to your right, bringing your heart over your foot, placing left hand to the side to push it away, and then fold. Five more rounds of breath. And slowly come back. Stretch out the legs, give them a little shake. Half lotus, full lotus, or just sukhasana. So depending upon what your hips and body allow, make your way putting the right foot up into the outer left in, um, thigh for half lotus, or place your left foot on top of your right thigh for full lotus. Extend the arms out, touch index finger to thumb, straighten your arms, drop your chin. 10 rounds of ujjayi. Now releasing, bring your hands by mid thigh, shift forward, hinge, press into your hands, lift the hips, lift the legs, hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, come down, inhale, open the arms. Reach your hands around and just grab elbows. Take a big inhale. Yoga mudra. As you exhale, 
fold and bow forehead to earth. Deep release into body. Inhaling up, release. Now, if you'd like to just take seated meditation to complete your practice, I welcome you to stay here. Otherwise, releasing from seated, make your way down and onto your back. Stretch out the legs, stretch the arms overhead, take a big inhale. On an exhale, bring the knees in and take a little happy baby. And then from happy baby, any final last movement, spread out for Shavasana. Gather prop, blanket, sweater that allows you this time to allow the body, the nervous system to settle, to allow the body to digest. The solar plexus is the center of digestion. So as you lie on your back, open the palms to the sky, soften through the belly, relax the jaw, feel the inner heat you cultivated through tapas, through your practice. Allow it to melt away any residual fear, tension. Feel the earth underneath you. Feel its support. You will be okay. We will be okay. Allow yourself to soften, to melt. Take rest.
you like an extended shavasana to simply turn off the zoom. Be at peace. Integrating back into our life. Come back to breath. Take in the sounds of your outward environment, your home. Maybe you're alone at home. I want you to feel though you're not alone. Though not physically together, on an energetic level, we are together. We feel each other's energy. Bring your left hand to your heart and your right hand to your belly. So gratitude for your breath, for your body, for this practice. On your next inhale, stretch the arms of her head. Reach long, wiggle fingers and toes. And then gently draw knees in. Roll to the right. And when you're ready, take your time. Come up to seated. Close your eyes, come back to breath. Note how you feel. We'll end with a breath work and mudra actually for the first chakra, earth chakra to ground us. Turn your left palm up and put it on top of your thigh. Take your right hand, curl the the last two fingers in, so your two peace fingers are up. And then take your two peace fingers and touch the earth. Close your eyes, breathe. As you inhale, think about drawing in the energy of the earth. Receiving the blessings that surround you. When you exhale, exhale, exhale out the energy of gratitude. Continue to do this breath work. Three more rounds of breath. And then bring your hands to prayer position at your heart. Let the knuckles of your thumbs touch your sternum and bow your head. Repeat to yourself, I am stronger than I think I am. I hope that this practice warmed you up, tapped into your inner fire. I hope through the journey of the practice of yoga, you continue to transform, to find your inner strength, may it be physical, emotional, mental. Please know that you are not alone. Together we are stronger. Thank you for showing up and sharing your energy with me. Let's close with one round of OM. Please take a deep inhale in. My heart, the beautiful light in all of your hearts. 
I bow and acknowledge you with love. Namaste. Thank you.